Hello there. Good morning, everyone. So for today's um, exercise class, we're going to use a couple of weights. I have here five pound weights. Um, if you want a little bit heavier, that's okay. But make sure it's a weight that you're comfortable with. So we're not going to push beyond our own um, sort of edge this morning. But we are going to use some some weights. So grab your five pound weights or three pound weights, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm also um, going to be using these bands. If you don't have the bands, that's fine. Um, there's no, it's not mandatory, but it might add a nice resistance. And then we, you may also benefit from using a chair. So um, grab all the little props, everything that you need. And we're gonna get started with a nice little warm up. So coming up to your mat, please. And bring the chair nearby. So in, in case you need it for balance, that's all the purpose of the chair is. And initially we're just gonna start out on your mat with your feet wide apart from each other. So turn the toes out, knees out, heels in, and just begin to inhale deep and exhale, bend your knees, bring your arms down, inhaling deep, reach up, stretch it up, exhale, bend the knees, bring your arms down. A couple more times, inhale as you inhale, really stretch open the lungs, breathe into the lungs and exhale, bend the knees, grab it all the way down and inhaling, reach up. Now pause here and then stretch over to the right. Feel the nice stretch on the left side body and then inhale, reach up first. So make your spine long and then stretch over to the left. Good, and just go side to side, just notice What's going on on one side and the other side? Inhaling, coming back to the center. Exhaling over to the left. One more time. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the right. And then inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the left. Good. And then come back to the center. Bend the knees. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. Inhale, lift the chest up. Take your right elbow towards your left. Um, or right shoulder towards your left knee. Mm -hmm. Inhale, come back to the center and opposite side. That's such a good way to get your spine way woken up and take it side to side. So initially you don't wanna just push beyond, um, you know, your range of motion. Just go as far as it feels good on your body. And then just keep breathing side to side. So for everyone that's joining us now, um, just grab your weights. I'm using little five pound weights. If you want something a little bit uh, heavier, you can. Otherwise lighter is fine too. And then I have a chair, so make sure um, you have a chair nearby. We're gonna use that at some point later. And back to the warm up, inhaling and exhaling. And then come back to the center, inhaling, reach up once again, turn the palms up. Now, this time I'm going to ask you to lift your heels up, stretch it all the way up, and then exhale, relax, release the arms down. Face your chair. You may not need the chair, but just in case for balance, I figure it's, it, it's a good way of um, kind of loosening the muscles before we get really deep in there. So um, stand right next to your chair, in front of your chair, pick up the right foot off the ground, bring the right knee right next to the left knee. So I'm like, if you can see me, uh, my right knee is right next to the left knee. Flex that right foot, and then you're just gonna press that right heel back behind you. Now notice that I don't, I don't wanna really arch my low back. So my core is engaged, the uh, chest is lifted up, and all you're doing is just little presses back towards the back wall. You feel your hamstring and glutes waking up. So really squeeze the buttocks as you press that heel back behind you. 
and press it back. Keep that left knee bent. And press in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Good job. Four. Keep the core engaged. Two and one this time. Stay here. Straighten the leg. So you're going to tap the right toes down and then flex the foot and do a little leg curl behind you. So tap the toes down and then leg curl. So now you're really getting into the hamstring. You should feel the hamstrings here engaged. Flex the foot and tap. Flex the foot as you bring the heel close to your buttocks and tap the toe down and flex the foot and heel to the butt and tap and flex and tap and flex. So you're pointing the toe down and then flexing the foot and heel up. 10 and make sure you're breathing, nine, eight, seven. Try not to lean too much on that left hip. So really lift out of the left hip and really keep your attention on the, on the hamstring on the right side. And three, two, last one. Very nice. Now stay here for a moment. Extend that leg straight. And then you're just gonna do little pulses up towards the sky. Have your toes and knees pointing down towards the floor as you're lifting the heel up towards the ceiling. And 10, nine, eight, seven. So the initial movement is uh, originating, is coming from your buttocks, glutes, and lift, and five, and four, three, two, one. Beautiful, take it down. We're gonna switch over to the other side. If you need to shake out that right leg a little bit, and then <clears throat> bend the left knee, bring in the left knee close to your right knee, flex the foot, and you're just gonna do those little presses back behind you. So right now, we're just contracting the glutes and the left hamstring so that you can press that heel back. Your lower belly is engaged, your chest is lifted, spine is nice and tall, so you're not dumping into the low back. And it's really good to have a source of, you're not gripping on your chair, it's you're just using the chair as balance. So the focus is not balance in this practice, in this movement, but it's really about uh, mobilizing the hamstrings. I want you to keep the attention on the back of the leg. Keep that left foot flex and press back. Imagine I have my hand on your heel and you're pushing my hand away. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, that right knee can be bent. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Now point the toe, tap the toe down, extend the leg, and then flex the foot and kick yourself in the butt. That's it. Point the toe, tap, and flex the foot, and bring the heel as close as you can to your body. So you're really now using the hamstring in that left side. Point the toe, tap, flex the foot, and bring it up. Good. And flex the foot, bring it up. And point the toe, tap, flex the foot, and bring it up. Good. And just in case you hear snoring in the background, it's not me, it's not my husband, it's my little dog who's just napping away right there. <laughs> flex the foot, point the toe, tap, flex the foot, and squeeze, curl that leg up. Really using and isolating those hamstrings as much as possible. And three more. And two, flex the foot, point the toe, tap. Last one. Very nice. Now keep that leg extended, lift the leg up, and then little pulses up towards the sky. Now I want you to really feel the glutes moving and working. So, so far we had hamstring, but really move your attention up the buttocks and squeeze and squeeze. The only reason your leg is moving is because you keep contracting the buttocks. And 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Shake it out a little bit. Good job. Now um, face the um, face forward so that your right hand is resting on your um, chair. Bring the left knee up to your chest as close as you can. So preferably you bring it so that the that left hip is a 90 degree angle. Your left knee is a 90 degree angle and you also have that 90 degree on your ankle. And then you just lift the knee up to your chest, flex the foot, and then you pulse it up. You see I'm doing it. So just little pulses up. Now we're getting into the front of the thigh, the quadricep, and you're just gonna lift it up, lift the knee close to your chest. Your right knee can be bent slightly. You're not leaning over to the right. See that you're zipped into the center. And all you're doing is using the chair as uh, kind of a prop to help you balance. So you're not focusing on how am I going to balance myself, but just really focusing on the strength in the quadricep to, and the hip flexors to lift and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one, hold it here. Now externally rotate that hip and then internally rotate it. So keep that leg as high as you can, but just turn the hip open and then close the hip. So externally rotate and internally rotate. This is so amazing for all the hip uh, stabilizers, externally rotate for the adductor, abductor muscles, and internal and go at your own pace 10 9 8 it's amazing how we don't we're just using our own body weight but we really feel a deep deep work intense work on that leg and three two last one very nice now come back to the center once again flex the foot and then slowly begin to straighten the legs. So really squeeze the quadriceps and then bend the knee. So squeeze the quadriceps, lift the leg up and bend the knee. Squeeze the quadriceps and lift, good. So think about lifting, scooping the toes up towards the sky and then bending the knee. And 10, I know you're feeling it because I certainly am. And nine, good job. And eight, very nice. Seven, try and keep your weight right on the center seam of your body so you're not leaning over to the right too much. And five, and four, and three, two, last one. Very nice. And this is the last one. So keep the leg straight. And then you're just going to do little teeny, teeny pulses up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gorgeous. Take it down, shake it out. You can grab that ankle and stretch out the quadricep. Keep the knees tight towards each other. Lift the heart out. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. That was a good little warm up. And then we still have the other leg. So you can switch your hands if you want to. I'm just gonna stay on this side, but if you need to turn around, go for it. Flex the um, hip flexor. So bring the uh, right thigh up to your chest. Remember that we want, ideally, we want that 90, 90, 90. 90 degrees on the hip, knees, and the ankles. And then as you stay here, flex the foot and just lift up, just little lifts up towards the sky, right? So you're not leaning over to the left. Your weight is equally distributed, zip to the center line of the body, and then just flex and lift and lift and 10, almost like you're sitting, but you're also using the strength in your left leg as well and lift it up. 
and 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep that left knee bent. You never really want to hyperextend the knee. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Now you're going to externally rotate that hip and then internally rotate the hip. So as you're externally rotating, you, the inner edge of your right foot is lifting up. And as you internally rotate, the outer edge lifts up towards the sky. And notice that there is a limit. So we, our internal rotation is a little bit more limited. We can externally open the hip a lot more and internally rotate and externally rotate. Ideally, you want that knee to be um, hip level, hip height. So see if you can keep that leg up. And then when you internally rotate, notice I just did this. <laughs> we don't want to do that. So keep the weight in the center. And all you're doing is you're moving the head of the thigh bone, the femur bone in the hip socket. And five and four. That's three, such a subtle movement, but really, really effective for keeping these muscles nice and strong so that as we age, we have the mobility, flexibility to go side to side. And last one, very nice. And then come back to the center, straighten the leg, flex the foot, and think about scooping up towards the sky. So you're Toes are pointing up towards the sky and you're just doing little lifts, little lifts. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it too. And lift and 10, nine, just keep telling yourself, I'm strong, I can do this. Keep the left knee bent and protect it. And three and two and last one. Very nice, bring that down. Bend the left, right knee and you can grab the right ankle, just kind of stretch out the quadriceps and the hip flexors and the psoas muscles. Keep the knees close to each other as much as you can. Very nice. So you can stay with the um, chair if you want to, but I'm gonna ask you to at least grab at least one of your uh, dumbbells, one of the weights. Your right hand can be on the chair or if you don't need it and you wanna use both, both of the dumbbells, you can do that. We're just going to go into some lunges. So I'm just going to use one of the dumbbells for the first set. So your right hand is resting on top of your chair, just like that. Bring your feet together initially, and then take a big step back with your left foot. So notice as I step back with the left foot, my right knee is still right above the right ankle, right? So we don't want to do this. You don't want the right knee to go beyond the toe. Press that knee back. So you may need to step back a little bit farther away with that left leg so that the right knee is right on top of the right ankle. Your um, left arm is resting right next to you, either holding a dumbbell or not. And then you're just gonna bend that left knee, drop it down towards the floor. Don't let it touch the floor and then straighten the left knee. So as you notice the entire time my left, my right knee stays right above or behind the heel. We're never going beyond it, okay? So keep the chest up, spine is tall. You're holding the weight. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. Inhale, and as you exhale, all you're doing is bending the back leg. And then straighten, lift, straighten both legs. Inhale, exhale, bend. Inhale, and lift. Exhale, and bend. Inhale, and lift. If after a little while you feel pretty stable and you feel like you don't need to use the chair and you want to use the other dumbbell, just go ahead and grab your other dumbbell and use the, your, you know, hold on to the right hand. You're just going to do this and straighten the legs, okay? So it's entirely up to you. The chair is a nice option because you're not focusing on balance, but you are focusing on strengthening that back leg 
and up and exhale down inhale up make sure the shoulders don't creep up to the ears the minute we get under any kind of stress the shoulders slowly come up so soften the shoulders away keep the movement limited to the legs and five and four and three Last two. Very nice. Keep breathing. Last one. And then we're immediately going to switch sides. So step the left foot up, right foot back. Line up the knee with the ankle. You can switch your arms if you like to. And then bend that right knee and straighten it. Good. Bend the right knee and straighten it. The back heel can stay off the ground the whole time. All you're doing is moving up and down, not forward and back. Okay. So really be aware that you're lifting up almost like you have a little string on top of your head, and the string is being shortened and lengthened. Shorten and lengthen. Good. And keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Be really mindful that that left knee is not going beyond the toe staying right above the heel so step back make your steps a little bit wider from each other if that helps and 10 and 9 very nice and 8 7 6 5 four that's three two and last one good job so you i'm sure you feel it in the calves as well we're going to stretch out the calf real quick bring your hands on top of your chair back of your chair take a big step back with your left foot and then bend that left knee deep as you press your hips back so you feel a nice stretch in the back of the calf, the shin, maybe even the back of the hamstring on that right leg. Inhale. And then step that left foot up, step the right foot back, bend the right knee, lean your hips back, lean onto that left leg. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Come back to the center. Very nice. Progressing beautifully. So grab your weight on your left hand. Bring your feet together. And then without leaning over to the right, so keep to the center of your body. Lift the left leg up. Okay. So there is going to be a little bit of a leaning, but see that you're zipping, you're moving that uh, right hip to the center and you're just lifting that left leg up. So maybe the leg doesn't go up as high, that's okay. And then having your weight right against the uh, upper thigh of that left leg, begin to lift that leg up and then lower that leg down, bring the heels towards each other. So lift the left leg up and then lower really slowly. I want the movement to be really conscious. Your, your up movement is on two counts and your down movement is on one, two, three, four. So you're really slowly squeezing the inner thighs together, bring the heel, the left heel close to the right heel. Lift the left leg up and squeeze down, two, three, four. And lift down, two, three, four. And lift down two three four and lift down two three four and lift down two three four lift good almost there keep it going i know you're probably feeling it on the right leg that's okay and three two three four and four good 
Keep the belly engaged, chest is up, shoulders away from the ears. Anytime you notice the shoulders creeping up to the ears, just soften them down. And last one. Very nice. Let's switch side immediately to the other side. So you can flip to the other side, hang on to your chair. If you don't need the chair, that's fine too. Make sure you're not leaning too much to the left. Come back to the center. So press the hip, that left hip back to the center as you pick up the right foot off the ground. Your right uh, arm is holding onto the weight and you're gonna lift and then flex the foot and squeeze the inner thighs towards each other so that the heel comes down. Lift two counts and lower four counts. Two, three, four, and lift. Good. Four, and lift. That's it, you got it. Four, and lift. Good. Four, and lift. Two, three, four, and lift. Nice. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. And lift up. And keep it going. And five more. And four, two, three, four, last three, three, four, last two. Woo, it's now I'm really feeling it. Last one, <laughs> two, three, and four. Very nice. Shake that leg out. Let's um, give the legs a little break for a little while. So the next set, we're just going to move to our upper body to give our legs a little break. If you'd like to, you can take a uh, glass of water or towel off if you feel that you need to. For the next set, you can sit on your chair. And if you don't have a chair and you don't want to sit, that's fine too. So we're going to use both of, the, of our weights. And I want you to sit tall. Sit on the, if you are sitting, sit on the edge of the chair. So you're not leaning back. There's no rounded back. You're sitting right on the anterior part of your sit bones. So uh, there's almost like a tilted, a little bit of a tilt in your anterior tilt in your pelvis. And then you're gonna hold on to the weights, bring the weights up to your shoulders, sit tall. As you inhale, lift the left arm up and then lower down. And then lift the right arm up and lower down. If this is too much for the shoulders, if you have any shoulder issues, please feel free to just get rid of the weight. So you, all you're doing is just lifting your arm up without the weight. If you're comfortable with the weights, then you're gonna just alternate side to side. And really be mindful. I mean, the shoulders are very incredible um, structures but also very susceptible to injury. So make sure that your range of motion, you only go according to your own range of motion. We don't wanna go beyond. If you feel any pain whatsoever, just bring the arm down. It doesn't, you don't need to go the full range of motion up towards the sky. And then notice as you're lifting up, if you're are arching your back, if you're seated, Please keep that in mind. Keep the core engaged, pull the belly in so that the spine is nice and long. And we got two more on both sides and lift. And last one and lift. Good. Bring the arms down. Bring the, put the weights down for a moment. Take the arms out to the side, flex the wrist. And you're just going to do little teeny tiny little rotations forward. Make sure that the rotation is coming from the shoulders, not just the wrist. And then turn the uh, fingers down and then you're going to rotate back. So just reversing the circle. Good. And then lower the arms down, grab your weights once again. And this time your arms are gonna be hanging next to you on the side. Inhale, lift the right arm out to the side. Now we're not taking the arm overhead, okay? So make sure that the wrist and the hand stay on the shoulder level. And then lower it down and then lift the left arm up 
and lower down. So alternating side to side. And at any point, if you feel like there's a sharp pain, please stop. If you feel like you wanna get rid of the weight, please do. Remember, this is your body and we, our aim is to just really develop strength, but also flexibility. So if you're pushing beyond pain, you're not doing yourself any favors. Make sure that whatever you do is just kind to your body, making your body stronger and more flexible and more agile so that you can continue doing this till you're 100 years old. And five, and lift, and four, and lift, and three, lift, and two, lift, and one. Very nice, and lift up, good. Put the weights down, arms out to the side, flex the wrist, and then do those little rotations again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Point the fingers down towards the floor and reverse them circle the other way. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, beautiful. Shake the arms up. We're gonna combine those two movements. So grab your weights, bring the weights out to your shoulders, right arm up, lower that right arm all the way down and then out to the side and then back to your shoulder. Left arm up, bring the weight all the way down and back out to the side and up, okay? so. Uh, maybe for this one, when you choose to do it without the weight, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you choose to do it with a lighter weight or even a heavier weight. See what works best for you. And up and down and out and up and up and down and out and up. <laughs> Okay, I messed that one up. Let's do that again. Down and out. There you go. And up and up and down and up. <laughs> My left arm doesn't want to move. Okay, right arm and down and out and up. There you go. Let's get it up and down and out. There you go. We got it. So right up and down and out and up and up and down and out and up. I have a block with this left arm and down and up and up and up and down and out I got it and up and up and down and out and up and last one and down and out and down, good job. All right, I don't know what was happening with that left arm. So draw that left shoulder in, stretch it out, but it definitely didn't want to go out to the side. And then the other way. Whew. And then inhale all the way up, interlace the fingers, reach the palm away from your head. And then do that side stretch once again, just kind of moving side to side before we move on to the next set of movements. All the way up. And then as you're sitting in front of your, if you're sitting on your chair, interlace the fingers behind you and just open the chest up towards the sky. Nice stretch in the front of your pectoralis muscles, the front deltoids. And if you're sitting on your chair, or if you're just standing, just kind of fold over, let the head go, just shake your head side to side, stretch out the back of the neck. Good. And then come on up. <clears throat> We're gonna take the chair to the side. Put the chair to the side, please. 
grab your weights. So we're going to combine everything that we've done so far. Okay, so you're holding on to your weights. Bring your feet together. Take a nice deep breath in. Take your right leg back behind you. Wait. Make sure that the left knee is right above the left ankle. Inhale and exhale. Just bend the back knee. Bend it as far as you can. So maybe today this is as far as you want to go. And then as you bend it, bring the uh, weights to your shoulders. And then step that right foot up. So the feet are together. So you're going to bend the elbows, take the right foot back, and then step the right foot up and straighten the elbows. Bend the knee, take the right foot back, bend the elbows, bring the weights up to your shoulder, and step that right foot up. Okay, so from the front, it looks like this. So you're bending the elbows, touch the weights to your shoulders, take that right leg back, and then step up, straighten the elbows. Okay, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So if you have any sort of knee issues going on this morning, you can just step that right foot back. So you don't need to go deep into the lunge. Okay, so let's do this 10 counts on this side. Inhale and exhale, one. Inhale and exhale, two. Inhale and exhale, three. Inhale and exhale, four. Inhale and exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, six. We're going a little faster to get your heart rate up, seven. Inhale, exhale, eight and nine. And 10, immediately switch sides, left leg back and together. And exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, and five. Keep it going. We're gonna rest after this. Three, two, and one. Good job. Stretch it out, shake it out, take it some water, take a nice deep breath in, catch your breath, shake your legs out. Nice. We'll do one more standing sequence and then we're down to the floor. You're almost done. Okay. All right, so the next one, grab your weights, please. Take, bring your feet together. Shoulders are out to the, arms are out to the side. And then you're gonna step out to the side as you lift the arms out, okay? Bring the right foot in, step out with the left, elbows out to the side. And in, and 10, good. Keep the knees slightly bent the whole time. And eight, and out, and seven, very nice and out if you feel like you want to get rid of the weight if they're starting to get too heavy you can good make sure you're breathing keep the chest up shoulders away from the ears you're strong powerful and you got five more and out and four and out nice and three, and lift, and two, and lift, one more, and lift up, and last one, and lift up, good job, good job, that was tough, put the weights down, you're going to come all the way down to the floor, bring the bottoms of your feet together, and just kind of butterfly your legs open, Switch on your hips side to side. Take a nice deep breath and hang on to your shins. And then as you exhale, just gently begin to come forward, bringing the chest towards your. So think about your sternum, your chest coming towards your heels, not so much rounding your backs. You don't need to go that far. 
We're just kind of stretching out all the inner outer thighs. We work those uh, muscles quite a bit. And then take your legs out to the side wide apart from each other. Take a nice deep breath in. Take your right elbow on the inside of your right thigh. Stretching out the left side of the body. As you inhale, lift the left arm off. Maybe you can take the left hand behind your head. And then just rotate your chest up towards the sky. Keep the legs energized. So flex the toes, flex the knees. And then come back to the center and over to the opposite side. Your right arm reaches up. The back of your hand can rest or your hand can rest in the back of your head. Elbow up towards the sky. And just rotate your chest open. Do a nice stretch. I love the stretch. It stretches out all the inner outer thighs as well as your QL muscles on your low back. And then come back to the center, bring your knees together. All right, we're gonna move to the next segment. I'm gonna just fix my camera so you can see me here. Come all the way down on your back. Bring the bottom of, bottoms of your feet down on the floor, bend the knees, and then take your arms out to the side, palms are down, okay? Now, flex the feet, flex the knees, inhale, and then pick the feet off the ground, bring the knees to your chest, let your hips lift up, and then lower the feet all the way down, okay? So you're really using the transverse abdominal muscles, the lower muscles on your lower belly and your hip flexors, but your hands can press them. You can use the strength in your hands, your arms, to allow your feet to come up. So inhale, and then as you exhale, pick up the feet, draw the knees to your chest, let your hips roll off the ground, and then lower down. Good, that's 10, and exhale, nine. Very nice, exhale, eight. So really use the lower belly as you lift the knees towards your chest, your hips come up. It's almost like you're rolling on your back, but it's really safe for your spine. And five, four, three, two, last one. And then stay up here, take your legs straight up towards the sky, flex the feet. Now I want you to think about lifting your heels up towards the ceiling. So press your hands down. You can even bring your hands a little bit closer to your buttocks. Lift the hips up, slide the hands underneath the buttocks, palms down, and then just teeny tiny little lifts up. So as you can see, I'm just lifting up maybe an inch off the ground. It's not a really big movement. And the toes are going, the heels are going up towards the sky, not towards my head. Okay, so you're going straight up and straight up and lift and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Keep the left leg exactly where it is. Bend, uh, take the right leg down towards the floor. Bend the left knee. So flex the left foot, flex the left knee. Bring your arms behind your head. Inhale. Interlace the fingers behind your head. Let the elbows open wide out to the side. So keep the elbows out away from each other. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna lift the head and shoulders up and then rotate your right shoulder towards the left knee. Inhale, lower, lift the head and shoulders up. Exhale, rotate the right shoulder. So think about the elbow going out to the side and the shoulders coming up towards the knee. And down, inhale, exhale, up and rotate. Down, inhale. Exhale, up and rotate. If you want to make this a little more juicy, a little bit more challenging, you lift up, 
and then you strain the leg as you lower everything down. So exhale up and inhale lower and tap. Exhale up, inhale lower and tap. If this bothers your back, please go back to the first version. So just keep the leg up the whole time if you feel like this is too much for the back. And five, very nice. And four, and if you are moving the leg, really lengthen the leg away from your shoulder. So you're not just dropping the leg down, but you're extending the leg away from the shoulders. And last two, and last one. Beautiful. Rest for just a moment. We're gonna to switch to the other side. Take that left leg straight down on the floor, right leg up towards the sky, and then bend the right knee. Interlace the fingers behind the head, elbows way out to the side. Keep the elbows as wide as you can so you're not yanking on your neck. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift the head and shoulders up and bring the left shoulder towards your right knee. And lower down. Inhale and exhale. If you want to add a little bit more juice, you feel energized and you want to challenge yourself, you will straighten that right knee and extend the right leg away from the hips. So you're not just dumping the right leg down, you're actually moving the right leg using the hip flexors and quadriceps to lower the, to lift the leg and then using the back of the legs to lower the legs. Inhale, exhale. If at any point you feel like this just doesn't feel good on my back, then you keep the knee up. It's really simple. It's beautiful. The beauty of these exercises is that we get to do um, what feels good. And in the process, we get stronger, right? So we want to be able to do something that we actually enjoy doing for the rest of our lives. And five and four, instead of forcing ourselves to do something we don't want to do. And three, nobody wants to be forced to do anything. And two, and last one, very nice. Bring the bottom of that foot to get, uh, down on the floor. Let the elbow knees open out to the side, bring the bottoms of your feet together so you're in supine butterfly pose. Inhale, bring the hands up towards the ceiling. Um, touch your palms towards each other and then take your fingertips overhead. Inhale, as you exhale, begin to lift the head and shoulders up and reach in between your legs, reaching towards your heels. Inhaling, lower and lift up. Exhaling, lift the head and shoulders up and reach in between your knees. So reach for your heels. Inhaling, up and exhaling. If at any point you feel like you need to support your neck, you can just take one hand or both hands and put it behind your head. But really keep the chin integrated, keep the chin close to your sternum so that you're really using your abdominal muscles as you reach your stretch, as you exhale and reach for your toes, you're contracting the abdominal muscles. Inhale, lift, arms overhead, exhale, lift up. Inhale, stretch, exhale, lift. And three more. And two more. Nice. And last one. And lift up. Very, very nice. And lower down. Bring the <clears throat> feet up. Bring the knees up. Just windshield wipe your knees side to side for just a moment. And then let your knees drop over to the left. So the knees are stacked, your feet are stacked, your knees are dropped over to the left. Interlace the fingers behind the head. Inhale, keep the chin integrated, let the elbows wide out to the side. And you're gonna lift the head and shoulders up and then lift the chest up and up. So now you're getting into the oblique muscles, 
If you like to, you can reach your left fingertips towards your right heel. So lift, inhale, lower, exhale, up. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. And try and stay, keep your torso towards, your, towards the ceiling. So you're not turning the torso this way. Your right elbow is way out to the side and you're just reaching the left fingertips towards your right heel. And 10, nine, eight. As you know, for especially for abdominal exercises, core muscles, I really believe in nice, steady movements, not using momentum. So the, I don't care how many of you, these you do, the, if the quality is there, that's the most important thing. And we've got three more and two and last one and take it down and then take your maze all the way over to the right either hands behind you or you can reach the left uh, finger right fingertips towards your left heel inhale lower and exhale up really using the oblique muscles and lift and up and up let that left elbow open way out to the side and you can even really visualize your muscles, right? If you don't know what the core muscles look like, just Google them. Look at all the muscles in your abdominal section, the transfer abdominals, lower belly, the uh, rectus abdominals that are right in the center, this kind of the six pack or the eight pack. Some people have the obliques, you know, they're beautiful. They not only are they beautiful, but they help you with your side to side movements, with stabilizing your core and spine. So it really helps to have a visual of what the muscles look like as you're exercising them. And last three, last two, and last one. Very nice. And then bring it all the way down. Windshield wiper your knees side to side once again. <clears throat> bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Give yourself some love and gratitude for showing up on your mat. Good job. And then take that um, right foot down on the floor. Bring the left knee to your chest. Take the left ankle on top of the right knee. We're going to stretch out the hips. Pick up the right foot off the ground. Interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. And just rock a little bit side to side. Sometimes when I go over to the right, I feel this stretch a little bit more. See if that's true for you. You want to feel a nice stretch in that heel fullness. So it really helps also to just kind of put your left hand on the inside of that left thigh. And then just gently, don't, don't push it, but just gently guide it open. Get a nice stretch in that left outside of that hip. Keep breathing as you bring your right knee to your chest, let the left knee move away from your shoulder. And then bring that right foot all the way down, take the left leg back up towards the sky, interlace the fingers behind the left hamstring or the calf, and just gently draw that left leg closer to your chest. Feel the nice stretch in the hamstring. We really work your glutes and hamstring today. So if you like to, and you can, you can grab the ankle, or maybe you can grab the left toes and just feel that stretch all the way from the glutes through the hamstring. The more you flex that left foot, the more you feel the stretch in the calves and the Achilles tendon. And then gently release that left foot down towards the floor. Take the right leg straight up towards the sky, right ankle on top of the left knee. Pick up the left foot if you like to, figure four, interlace the fingers behind the left hamstring. Rock a little bit side to side. And if you go to the left, you might feel a little more stretch. See if that's true for you. Sometimes it just, I just like to stay in the center. And sometimes just going to the left a little bit more gets deeper in that muscle. But do press that left right knee away from the shoulder as the left knee is moving towards your chest. 
that definitely gets a little deeper into that piriformis muscle, which tends to get really tight. So this is one of my absolute favorite must do ex, uh, stretches every day type of a situation. <laughs> It feels really good. It just feels like all of a sudden you have more space in your low back. And then bring the left foot down, take the right leg straight up towards the sky, interlace the fingers behind the hamstring or the calf. And as you flex that right foot, flex the right ankle, you can really feel a deep stretch on the hamstring, calves, and the Achilles tendon. So just stay here for a moment. The flexibility just, um, you know, a lot of times we can power through exercises, especially um, strength exercises, but for flexibility, you just have to do it every day. There is no shortcut, unfortunately. I wish I could give you some other information, but if you're tight in the hamstring, you just have to get on your back and do this every single day to get a little bit looser. And once you do, you feel a nice release in the low back. So it's a really good, it's a really good discipline. And then release that foot, bring the knees to your chest, give yourself another big hug, roll up, sit up tall, three deep breaths, inhale, Reach up, interlace the fingers, reach away from your chest, fold over to the right, fold over to the left. Do this two more times, lower the arms, inhale, reach up, interlace the fingers, reach up, extend the side, extend the side, lower down one last time. Give yourself a nice big, 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 big inhale in and stretch out the side and stretch out the side and exhale lower and i want to give yourself a huge hand and a pat in the shoulder that was not an easy workout but you um stuck with it and um, i appreciate you as always it's always lovely to see you joining this class it's an, and it's my pleasure to teach thank you so much have a beautiful weekend i am teaching on friday um, yoga level one, two. So please feel free to join if you can. Thank you and have a great day.